All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at YOLO Ultralytics 2024 conference. Super excited to have Adrian, Dema, and Hin with me from Intel. Super excited to be chatting with you all today. I'm kind of excited to know a little about what are you all doing at YOLO conference and uh, want to know a little about Intel and YOLO's partnership. Hin, maybe you can go first? Yeah, sure. So um, YOLO is the conference uh, for learning about this uh, type of architecture, the YOLO architecture that's been with us for um, many years, one of the object detection algorithms that accompanied us for, for, for forever almost. And uh, since my background is computer vision, I hold a PhD in computer vision, I thought that's a natural uh, um, um, you know, way of getting to learn the, the information that is up to date and, and what's... Uh, plus we have some uh, collaborations with, uh, with Glenn, uh, and it's always uh, good to, to, to be there, to be up to date with the news, etc. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Adrian, what do you think? Yeah, so we started our collaboration two years ago and uh, we integrated OpenVINO directly to, to uh, Ultralytics Packet. So right now, uh, you, any user can just use OpenVINO. They don't, he they don't need to even write any OpenVINO code. They just use OpenVINO as a backend in Ultralytics Packet. And I think this is cool, right? Uh, Dima, anything you would like to add? Yes, yes, uh, sure. So actually, my background uh, uh, is uh, industrial automation, and I started some years ago uh, with uh, AI as well. And uh, my first uh, project at Intel was uh, related to uh, YOLO. And uh, YOLO is uh, really uh, famous on the market, especially when we talk about post estimation and object detection. And uh, with uh, this one first uh, demo, which I worked on uh, with uh, YOLO, we were able to uh, integrate uh, YOLO model and also control application on the same Intel uh, device and uh, show that it's possible to do uh, uh, control and uh, AI uh, in the same time on the same uh, device and uh, in efficient way with uh, Intel uh, hardware. Therefore, YOLO is uh, very special for me. These are fantastic insights. Thanks for sharing that. I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about the Ultralytics and Intel partnership. So would you all like to share a little about that? Maybe, Adrian, you can go first. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, as I mentioned already, we started yeah. uh, two years ago. And, yeah, so we <coughs> work closely together to implement more and more features in Ultralytics. Um, to, to have support for cumulative throughput, for example, if you want to run um, as many frames per second as, 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 as possible. Um, also, what else we are implementing? We implemented quantization, so we can even even quantize the model to int eight precision to, for, of course, faster inference and so on and so on. So this um, collaboration is still ongoing, so I hope more features will be available in the future. That's awesome. Him, would you like to add something to this? Yeah, I think uh, um, Adrian said uh, all the collaboration that we had between Intel and uh, and Ultralytics. Um, I would like to add to that um, the fact that, yeah, I mean, uh, to many of our customers, uh, when it comes to object detection, ULO is uh, one of the models uh, that they like to go to uh, for, for doing that task. So uh, uh, these collaborations make total sense. And, and as Adrian said, we would like to keep it progressing and, and advancing in the future. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Thanks for that. Uh, I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little about the performance. I've seen some great announcements by Glenn today, and I'm wanting to know a little about how the performance works, how does it all do. Uh, Dema, Adrian? Yes, yes, sure. So, uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say as uh, EIPC evangelist, uh, my role is also to try new models on uh, EIPC, on the newest uh, processor generation, and the newest model. And uh, especially for uh, this uh, uh, conference, for Eurovision as a part of our uh, cooperation with Ultralytics, we were able to run Yolo uh, 11 on the uh, newest uh, generation of uh, AI uh, PC uh, processors, Intel Core Ultra 200V, uh, and it uh, works uh, perfectly, so we can demonstrate it also here on the, our uh, booth, and it runs uh, also on CPU, GPU, and NPU with FP16 and uh, Int8 uh, uh, precision. And uh, with our demo, so everybody here can uh, see the performance, how many frames per second uh, do we have, and we are really satisfied with the results which we see here. 
That's awesome. Uh, Hind, one question for you. I know you also are a professor out there. You teach students. How do you see this topic? How do you see computer vision in the near future in the world where we are all talking about Gen AI, right? Right, yeah. So um, basically, uh, just as a background information, uh, the amount of students that are interested in, in, in computer vision uh, throughout my experience has increased tremendously in the last couple of years. Nice. And that's because of uh, uh, the fact that we see the effect of this technology in right. the real world, right? So many of my students, they come with clear ideas where they, where they want to apply computer vision. So some of them are interested in healthcare applications. Some of them are even interested in fashion industry, um, um, uh, sports analytics, these type of things. So... Uh, it's something that uh, is progressing, and I would like to say that the birth or the, 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 the now that we have Gen AI on board, the approach that I try to have with my students is combining them, having the best of both worlds. So something like uh, how to create um, a vision language uh, chatbot, right? Something that, that is based on language and yet uh, on vision so that you can extract uh, more information so that the, yeah, uh, so, so these type of things. Um, are, 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 what, uh, are what I try to, to, to kind of blend in the two worlds together to make it uh, understandable for the students. Love it. So it's obviously on the upward trend, uh, on the on upward and onward trend in terms of, you know, how people are wanting to learn more about computer vision. And this is maybe one of the reasons as well I'm kind of seeing Ultralytics just mention about 100 billion users, right? Yeah, it's yeah. huge. And and actually, the, the one one beautiful thing about Ultralytics is that their um, their their API, their SDK, is is really simple to use. Right. That uh, when I am um, speaking to my students about solving a given problem, I actually advise them to use the Ultralytics package wow. because it cuts lots of the uh, uh, you know work that they need to do to prepare the data to to train the model etc cetera, etc cetera. It, it comes in really handy and now with the announcement that we have some open source uh, models with Yolo v11 that's even going to be great for for the students community and hence for the open source community this is awesome those are fantastic insights thanks for sharing that one quick question for Dima and uh, Adrian if people want to learn more about you know the Intel and Ultralytics partnership, I know it's open source, people can go out and try it, but where can they do that, how can they, you know, learn more, try their hands, uh, any, any thoughts? Yeah, of course. So um, when we talk about Ultralytics specifically, they, you can go to Ultralytics documentation and see our integration there. There is a special um, bookmark for OpenVINO and so on. But also we have our own demos. Uh, you can go to our OpenVINO build and deploy repository on GitHub. It's open source repository with open source demos, AI ref kits and so on. And especially intel intelligent queue management AI ref kit is about Ultralytics and YOLO detection. But also people counter um, which is another demo this is demo not AI ref kit uh, so it's in demos directory it's also uh, about running YOLO detection with Ultralytics package and open Vino. Okay, fantastic. anything you would like to add Dima yes uh, sure I uh, have some uh, ideas and recommendations how to start uh, the uh, uh, journey with AI and open Vino. And uh, first of all, I would uh, recommend to uh, uh, watch our uh, webinars. So we uh, have uh, a lot of uh, webinars and on uh, multiple uh, topics which are related to AI and uh, open Vino on uh, traditional AI, about uh, uh, object detections, for example, or also on uh, uh, LLMs, uh, Gen. AI, and uh, many of such uh, webinars are available on uh, uh, demand, so it's uh, worth to, to watch, to learn, and of course, uh, if you would like to experiment and practice with many AI models, I would recommend to have a right hardware uh, for that, to run traditional AI, and also Gen AI on the PC, so it will uh, improve the uh, speed of learning uh, uh, dramatically if you have a right hardware for that.
That's awesome. And if I if I may add yeah, to that, please. there's also this very cool resource that I enjoy myself, which is the repository for OpenVINO notebooks. Nice. Uh, that has a lot of examples based on YOLO uh, mm. models, uh, how to quantize them, how to uh, optimize them, how to run them in different settings, uh, synchronous, asynchronous, um, you know, different quantization uh, techniques. So that's that's also a nice resource, I think. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. That. And if I can uh, add yes, about please. OpenVINO uh, notebooks, uh, also, uh, you know, that uh, we have new models all the time. For example, some days ago, Meta released uh, Lama uh, 3.2, uh, right? New uh, LLM model, which is very power powerful and uh, just uh, on the same day, uh, we have a notebook which uh, shows how to use this model. Therefore, please uh, on this uh, repository and uh, show the uh, announcement and uh, you will be up to date with the technology. That's awesome. One last question for all three of you. Uh, if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about Intel, or computer vision, about ultralytics, YOLO, where can they do that? Uh, maybe Edwin? Yeah, so first thing, where you can go, open you know, build and deploy repository and start the discussion. This is the first place. And the second, reach out to us on LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah. Or also the OpenVINO webpage, openvino.ai. That's a very nice documentation, uh, up to date. Everything is up to date. Uh, yeah, well, well, all the different releases, the different uh, properties, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's also another. Yes, and uh, as Adrian mentioned, uh, LinkedIn is a good uh, way to engage. And uh, if we visit some uh, uh, such face-to-face -face, uh, conferences, meetings, we always uh, announce. So if we have uh, some online uh, webinars, workshop, we also announce. So please uh, feel free to contact and uh, join uh, any of our events. Which That's we're awesome. At. Various places where people can learn about it. But once again, thanks for doing this. Thanks for visiting the Robert Show. Such a Thank pleasure you. chatting with all of you. And I love these impromptu chats. And obviously, you all are building something amazing with Ultralytics, with YOLO. So looking forward to the partnership and I'll make sure I'm sharing some links with our audience so they can go out and learn more about it. Perfect. Thank, thank you, you once again. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you, you everyone. Thank you.